This is a seated dumbbell calf raise. So again, we can play around with our foot position. We're going to start off with a straight foot position. So the toes are pointing forward. Again, he's locked in, lats are on. That you want basically here the heel to be slightly behind the knee because when he comes up to the top, he's going to be in a 90 position. Drive through that big toe, drive the ankles forward. So he's driving up maximally he can. And we get about a 90 degree position, back down, control. Don't sit at the bottom, just slowly down, control, driving that ankle forward all the way he's going through the big toe. Really focusing on that. And again, if we want to vary it, we can turn the toes out a little bit more. And again, we still drive through that big toe up and squeeze. Short position and back down controlled. You're not letting the heel sit, you're just soft touch off the floor and extending through again. Again, we can have another variation where we might slightly roll out onto the small toe and you'll see a different variation on the calf. You can see contracting slightly on the outside. Up again and squeeze at the short position. Stay there for a second, That's a, that, that is your short position. That's where you want to spend a bit of time. Contract your calf as much as you can and back down. So that's a seated calf raise with three variations of foot position, straight, toes turned out and then letting your ankle roll out a little bit so you're putting the weight on the small toe. So that's three different variations of a seated dumbbell calf raise.